Honestly. Put on precise sniping. Right. Can you switch to your range? Right, before they get to move. Ranged. Shoot the demon. Shoot the demon. Uh, actually, you stay like that. Stone fist at the demon. Alice, there. You will fall over. Arcane bolt. Is everyone stunned? No, just Liliana. Uh, Liliana's not. That's good. Wind's not. Yeah, once this happens, you're kind of... Wait, what? What happened to Win? It's like, Win has no health. Why? Thank you. Thank you for cleansing Aura. That was very useful of you. Again, big guy with very heavy armor. Not important. It's good to know. Okay, Liliana, you could probably do the lesser health poultice as well. Why is she not taking the lesser health poultice? Thank you. Here is take a health poultice. Yes, I mean, this is what my commentary is devolved into. You should do this. You should take this health poultice. Alright, Alistair, you might need one as well. Yes, my rogue is tanking, my tank is backstabbing. This is not what I think. This is not how things are meant to go. That's a health poultice. Health poultice. Actually, as we have poison making, let's do something. Let's Probably should have used this more. You take another one. You help with that one. Take another health poultice. And uh, that was used. Game? That's this thing called cheating. It's it's actually cheating. You're you're saying you're making me use an item that I haven't used. That in my mind qualifies as cheating. I know you don't think it does, because you're stupid. Yeah. There we go. Right, what injuries have we got today? We have more da another concussion, low willpower, wrenched limb penalty to attack speed, joy right. of joys. <laughs> Liliana's safe, that's because you're the archer. Um, rather than the melee person or the healer who's often the target. Shiver. Minus one dexterity plus 20% cold resistance, that looks quite nice. Small gold bar. Don't know who that's for. But it's a gift for sure. Acolyte staff. Another torn page. 
Dum, 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 dum. Who did we, we had Fonts, Moldat, da, 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 da. same thing, Tome Deus, the Eternus in Malefactorum, Dragos, da, 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 da. Notes on the page below. Make it take the vendor a copy, a fake. Why didn't I say it? It was obvious. Spake, laughing stock. No one must know. Beham Joan. Joam. I find him, I'll kill him. Oh dear. Interesting. I'm gonna find the other one there. Oh no, oh no, missed one. Ah, guys. Oh, I did it in the, the wrong order. <laughs> I always do that. Watch my Mass Effect Let's Play and find out. Uh, Tome Deus said there. Notes on a wonderful, wondrous discovery. A strange script, uniform by steady hand. Yes, one would expect an agent of the Maker to be steady. In fact, it follows all my expectations of the words the Maker would bestow. It is perfect, and once translated, I will have such fun fun lording this over the Chantry. Worth every bit. Right, let's head next door and hope not to die. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. The final page, methinks. If I can... Get at the right angle. Yeah, cool. Is this the last one? Yeah. Notes on the page below. The words elude me, but I will defy their obstinateness. Worked by the old gods or the maker himself, I will wring their secrets into my hands. I need the essence of the powerful and the pure, and so begins a bloody road. But at the end, godhood. The keys to the black city, Enchanteronus. And we have a, a quest. Several of the circle enchanters were unknowingly studying the same forged tome. Someone named Beha Joam took advantage of their egos and likely made a tidy profit. Keep an eye out for him. Okay. Chest. A surgery kit and an axe. Alright. And we're, oh, we can't go through there, so we're going to have to head into the main central section. Whatever's in here. It's probably going to be interesting. A really tough fight by the looks of it. I can't see what's going on. Looks like there's some mages, they might be able to help us, I suppose. Heroic war, I'll go with that. You do that, you charge in, you charge the archer, you charge the other fellow. Oh, hello, Le Mr. Lesser Shade. Any flickery thing there? No, it's just pixels flickering. These guys are trapped for whatever reason. Yeah, actually, you should be charging up, taking on the abomination rather than Gehiris. Gehiris is not our tank. Oh, Gehiris is not supposed to be our tank, is uh, probably what I should be saying at that point. Right. Um, I'd have to group heal. Yes, you take on the lesser shade. That's uh, kind of updated for whatever reason. What, am I what did I get? I don't look. Let's. Uh... Oh, the shades of. They're being resummoned, right? Okay. You take on the other skeleton. Oh dear. Heal, please, don't die. Thank you. I was worried that I'd have a similar problem as last time with the health cult. Yeah, group heal would be nice. Just short. Yep, 
Yeah, the lesser shades are being summoned continuously, so I think just killing them is not a great option. We need to deal with, uh, I think, the Abomination, considering his name's an orange. I'm guessing he's the boss figure. Group heal. Can I backstab this fellow? Right. Why, why wasn't I attacking him anyway? Interesting. Can we not? Oh, we can go up. Let's loot things first, shall we? A white range stone. Huh. It's a gift. I'm not sure who for. I'm saying that I've had a lot of gifts, actually, aren't I? Well, that's frustrating. I shall do it. This is a thing you can loot, Wed. He has nothing! <laughs> this game is evil, I think. It's deliberately being evil. Maybe getting us ready for what I'm sure is about to be the next bit once we go up the stairs. Which not a lot of people would enjoy. I, I, I found some of it problematic, but nothing overly frustrating. But let's save before we go up. <coughs> oh no, I thought this was... Uh, hmm... I thought this is where we went into the boat. No. Ah, uh, I'm going to have nightmares after this. Sorry, Liliana. Pile of rubble. Extracurricular studies. You find a note. Right. Notice herewith that the exercise area on the fourth floor shall serve as permanent berthing for the Templar garrison stationed at the tower. Since facilities that accommodate their particular training requirements are already at hand, they will be assuming an even closer watch over circle, circle affairs. Enchanter Bergen's optional weapon training is cancelled until further notice. Enchanter Bergen has additionally stepped down from teaching duties. First Enchanter Sinclair. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Oh, a skeleton. Right. The demons of the Fade are jealous of the living beings they sense from across the veil. They constantly push against the boundaries of the Fade, and when they finally cross over, they attempt to possess the first living creature they see. They are unable, however, to distinguish that which was once living from that which still is. In fact, a corpse provides an even more tempting target to a weaker demon, as it has no will with which to resist the possession. The demon cannot rationalise why this is so, it only sees a target and grasps at the opportunity. A skeleton is exactly that, a corpse animated by a possessing demon. Upon finding itself trapped within a body that cannot sustain it, the demon is driven insane. It seeks to destroy any life that it encounters, attacking without thought to its own welfare. The exact name given to skeletons of this type vary according to the nature of the demon that possesses it. A fanged, demon, a fanged skeleton is a skeleton possessed by a hunger demon. These skeletons devour whatever life they encounter and often possess the ability to drain life and energy and ma life energy and mana from their victims. A shambling skeleton is a slower moving skeleton possessed by a sloth demon, able to bring entropic powers against its opponents, slowing them and even putting them to sleep. More powerful demons have been known to command skeletons, but at that level they are known by other names, revenants and arcane horrors to name two. Right. Anything interesting in this side? A chest, eh? Let's see what we get. Another apprentice cow, which is basically sales fodder, really. Possessed Templar, Possessed Templar, Possessed Templar, Possessed Templar. Yes, because uh, interacting with Templars went so well last time, didn't it? Oh yes, this one. Yes. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. 
Um, what an injustice name is going on here? Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Um, you have this. You have this Templar and Sorcel, don't you? Under your spell. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? Uh, his happiness is an illusion, a cruel lie. You're deceiving him, I would consider that harmful. How did you manage it? No, I suppose there isn't. <laughs> no. Yeah, his happiness is an illusion. It's a cruel lie. All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. Hmm. I can't bring myself to destroy what you've done for him. Ugh. Do not think that this is what he really wants. So you think you're doing a good thing? You've made him into your slave. So you think you're doing a good thing? We are partners. I give him what no one else can. And through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. I believe you. No, I'm here to get rid of the demons. He deserves to be, but also he deserves to be free from you to find his own happiness. What happiness? He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Hmm. Wondering about three or one, or maybe even four actually. What will become of you if I leave you? Even if I do, the tempers will come for you eventually. Yes, let's not immediately threaten her. Um, even if I do, the tempers will come for you eventually. No, no, yes. Even if I do, the tempers will come for you eventually. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. Do with him as you yeah. That's the thing. Do with him as you wish. It's I'm handing over another li living being to her, which is the kind of, or I'm allowing it to happen. You're too dangerous to let live. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Oh, hello, skeletons. Well, not well, corpses. Um, right. Take on the Bullwitch Templar. You stab the Tazar Demon. You uh, do something. I hadn't thought this far ahead. Tazar Demon. Go for the Tazar Demon. Oh, stab the corpses. I wonder if these are the children that she was pretending he had. Oh no, not the dance, not the dance, not the dance. Okay, but oh wait, Gaheris is dead. Right. Right, Lily, you take on the desire and you stab it. Stab her. It. Right, I'm guessing we're about to reload, aren't we?
Right, so that's an interesting thing th to think about there. Um, and I think I will think about that next time, and I will return, and we will think about what we're going to do with uh, this demon and the Templar, the Templar that she has ensorcelled. And then it looks like there's more Templars that have been ensorcelled later on, but I don't think we get to deal with them in a dialogue option. Uh, but that'll be next time. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.